Hi, welcome, Simon Kids, awesome readers and writers. I am Jen Janeri, and I am the author of Muffled, which is a story about fifth grader Amelia, who is a reluctant trombonist and a big reader. She is sensitive to sound, and she has to learn to play an instrument, or as she sees it, make noise on purpose. It's a story about how Amelia navigates school, makes friends, and steps outside of her comfort zone on her own terms. She also makes a new friend who is very different from her. Madge is loud, and Amelia likes quiet. Do you think they can be friends? I think a best friend is someone who accepts you the way you are. I, this story came to me when I was a child. A blizzard stopped all traffic in Boston. The snow was so deep, it was days before the cars came back and made such loud noise on the road again. And years later, I wondered, what if silence wasn't just nice, but necessary? You know, for some people, quiet is something they need to recharge before they can participate in our noisy world. Let's read a little bit. On the other side of the lobby door, 96 sidewalk lines away, is the first day of fifth grade. I stare through the glass, tugging at my backpack straps, although they are fine. I know I am stalling. As soon as I open the door, the outside will rush into my ears. Taxi horns, loud radios, barking dogs. I hold on to the quiet for as long as I can. Do you want us to walk with you? Dad asks, right as mom says. Ready, Amelia? I shake my head. I savor one more moment of quiet, only to be interrupted by the elevator dinging. Deb rushes by us. See you there, she says, as she pushes open the lobby door. Warm air and city commotion burst into our apartment building. I cover my ears and count the ways I am different this year. One, I am 10 now and can walk to school by myself. Two, mom and dad gave me a new Charlie card and permission to ride the T alone to the Boston Public Library. Three, my noise canceling headphones are not on my head. Once the door closes, I lower my hands. Outside, I see Deb catch up to Jax, who lives across the street. They head off together without me. I tell myself that's fine. I'm only a neighborhood pal to Jax and ever since third grade, backup friend to Deb minus Kiki. I take a step toward the door and then hesitate. I feel lightheaded, missing the weight of my headphones. Only my hair covers my ears. Mom hugs me goodbye. Fifth grade will be great. Dad touches my arm. One more thing he says and hands me a box. What's this? Mom asks, as surprised as I am. I open it. Inside are purple earmuffs with a white band. I slip them on. The muffs, soft and furry, cover my ears completely. I love them instantly. Earmuffs are like having permission to place your hands over your ears all the time. So that's the beginning of Muffled. I hope that you will read the story to find out what happens and which instrument she decides to play. You know, she thinks a lot about sounds. And I'm wondering what are your, some of your favorite sounds? Here are a few of mine. What's that? That's a bike bell. I love bicycling. And when I'm riding my bike, I like to just ding the ding when I go down the trail. Here's another sound I really like. Listen to this. What did you hear? Birds. I like the sound of birds in the trees, especially on a quiet morning. I also like the sound of the piano. I think that it would be wonderful if you made a list of sounds that you liked and then thought about the sounds that you don't like as well. You like to write stories? A great way to make your stories even better and more creative is to notice, ask, and listen. Notice what's around you and take notes about what you see. Ask questions about the things that make you curious and listen to what people say and what you hear around you. I hope that you've enjoyed this moment to chat and I look forward to hearing someday about the sounds and the stories that you like and write. 
Bye.